Hi, I'm David Polikoff, and welcome to Side Alpha Leadership Snippets. Hi, today I want to talk about fireground communications. We're going to start with initial on-scene reports. This is the report that's given by the first due engine company officer. All the information that this officer gives for that initial on-scene report is done while still sitting in the front seat of the apparatus. You should have loaded expectations up to your crew so they know when they arrive on the scene, while you're giving that on-scene report, they should be going to work, whether it be stretching a line, getting ready to force a door, or what have you. While they're doing that, you need to give that on-scene report. This is letting everybody know who's responding to your incident, what you have. The initial on-scene report is very simple and it consists of seven pieces of information. Side of the building, the number of stories, the type of occupancy, what conditions you have and where they're showing from, the tactics that you're going to use, and then you need to establish some sort of command, whether it be tactical command or limited command or whatever you call it. And then finally, any additional information like deviation from the policy that needs to be communicated or calling for the rapid intervention dispatch or a second alarm. So. When you give that on-scene report, my advice, take a deep breath, let it out, and you want to give it a nice, calm transmission, and it should sound like this. Engine 123 is on the scene, side alpha. I have a two-story single-family dwelling. I have fire showing from the second floor. I'm going to be advancing an inch and three-quarter line through the front door on side alpha. I'm going to go ahead and have the tactical command. Go ahead and start the rapid intervention dispatch. It's as easy as that. Then you can jump out of the unit, get your, get your gear on, go to Jobtown. Thanks for listening.